What's going on YouTube? Jason Wicker, DIY Dad. Um, we are back at my house for another video and today we're going to talk about what we're going to do to have a very successful 2022 uh, lawn season. Um, so we're, what we're going to do uh, is a fall overseed uh, at the end of August of 2021 and let's talk about some of the products that I'm going to use and some of the steps that I'm going to take um, to get that ready. Before we dive into the video, I want to uh, show you some uh, clips and pics uh, from Chris out in New Jersey. Um, his lawn is uh, looking real good. Uh, so we, uh, my July 4th video, I was talking about Blade Game. Um, his lawn is looking awesome. So here's some pictures of uh, Chris's uh, yard out there in the middle of summer in New Jersey, looking great. So uh, if you want me to post some pictures of your uh, lawn, make sure you uh, email me at uh, jwdiydad at gmail.com. Uh, I'll put the link below and that you can go ahead and send me some pics and I'll put uh, photos of your lawn in my next video. So here's a quick shot of my front yard in its current state. Um, so you'll see uh, I have a, uh, for, for some background, I have uh, Kentucky bluegrass, um, mainly Kentucky bluegrass. Um, but what you see these uh, these little light colors here, um, I have some crabgrass mixed in with some spurge. So uh, yesterday I just mowed the lawn. I'm taking care of those weeds um, as my first step in uh, for my lawn renovation here in 2021. All right, so uh, on your uh, herbicide, it's gonna tell you um, how soon uh, you can overseed after your, your spray. So make sure you read your label, make sure you understand uh, and time out when you spray your weeds to when you start doing your overseed. All right, so the next thing that I ended up doing was I called my um, one of my lawn companies in the area and in uh, my neighborhood, we decided that uh, we're gonna post on our Facebook uh, page uh, to see how many people we can get signed up for aeration uh, for August into September and uh, Essentially what that does is it lowers the rate, that way the guy can get into the neighborhood and do you know, multiple yards and it saves him the trip. So um, if you're thinking about aerating this fall, I think it's a very good idea. It's actually the best time uh, to aerate your yard. And what aerating does is it's going to open up the ground. It's going, I'm doing a plug aeration, so it's going to pull cores out of the ground, open it up so we can get some more nutrients down. And I'll show you what that's going to look like here in a little bit. But overall, it's going to decompact your soil. So um, I got my aeration scheduled. Um, so the next thing I had to do is find some premium grass seed. Um, you can go get, you know, the stuff at Home Depot um, or Lowe's, but your, your premium uh, grass seed uh, essentially has zero uh, weed seeds in it. Uh, and I don't want to introduce any more weed seeds um, if possible. So um, the seed that I chose to use or I'm going to use this year is going to be um, the GCI uh, Blue Heat. Um, I got it from uh, Pete. If you don't, if you've never watched GCI Turf before uh, on YouTube, uh, highly suggest it. Very knowledgeable guy, but um, he uh, formulated this uh, bluegrass, you know, you know, from different uh, cultivars uh, that helps uh, resist heat during the summertime. And the biggest challenge with cool season grass is always that summer. Um, so uh, to find something uh, that's going to be a little bit more drought resistant or heat resistant. Um, I chose to use uh, the Blue Heat from GCI Turf. So after we aerate the ground, putting all these holes all over the place, uh, the, the first thing we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and put um, our grass seed down. Um, and just make sure you read the, uh, the label. Uh, there's an overseed uh, spreader setting, and then there's also um, if you're doing a full lawn renovation. So we are doing an overseed, not a full lawn renovation in the front yard. All right, so after I get the seed down, uh, the next thing I'll do is put out some peat moss, uh, lay it over the, um, the entire front yard uh, and, and the side yards. Um, what, what that's gonna do is, is help hold the seed in place, um, try to create some better uh, seed to soil contact, and also it helps hold moisture. <clears throat> so right after I do that, I'm gonna put down something uh, that's uh, brand new to Yard Mastery. It's called Biocharkin, and it's a soil amendment. Um, as if you've wa uh, been watching my previous videos, you know that um, I just bought this house uh, this past December. Um, so uh, the previous owner uh, before me wasn't, you know, a long guy. He didn't uh, practice all these uh, things. So uh, what I want to do is get the soil uh, nice and healthy. 
uh, nice and healthy soil equals nice and healthy grass. So um, I'm putting biochar in down. This is a soil amendment. Uh, it's biochar infused with um, chicken litter or chicken poo. And uh, what it is is you have all these little bits of, of biochar um, that were laid down in, in, a, in a poultry um, a place where they you know grow chickens, um, and then the, you know the chickens you know poo all over it. Um, so all that nitrogen and, and goodness is is already built into uh, the biochar. Uh, they ended up bagging it, um, and this is going to be a great soil amendment. Um, it's going to introduce carbon. It's going to introduce all the good. Uh, goodies from all the chicken litter uh, right into my soil and hopefully in about three years because I'm going to do this every spring and fall for the next three years I'm going to have a easy turf uh, to take care of because I have very healthy soil so um, if you're if you like the uh, carbon X products uh, that are no longer available um, if you're already doing all these uh, RGS and humic and everything else um, I definitely say give this a shot I'll put the label uh, up here so you can see um, more of what uh, biocharkin is but I'll put the link uh, below uh, so you can go ahead and look it up on yardmastery.com um, each bag is uh, 45 pounds and uh, 10 to 20 pounds uh, per thousand square feet so you put a bunch of this stuff down in so right after I put all the holes in I'm gonna introduce biocharkin uh, into the lawn and help uh, fill in some of those holes with the new grass seed uh, to get a, a really good base and um, Start pushing those uh, roots and grass up pretty quick. So uh, healthy soil equals healthy grass So next after I get the, the biochar in down um, I'm gonna go ahead and start feeding uh, the new uh, Grass by putting down some starter fruit. This is going to help open up uh, those grass seeds make them pop and start germinating uh, throughout the yard and what I chose to use is the starter fertilizer from Yard Mastery. It's a 12-12-12 blend. Um, <clears throat> it's not too high in anything but also has bionite. Uh, so you know if, if you like uh, malorganite, very similar, just comes from Florida. So and it also has micronutrients on top of just the macros. Uh, so this is why I also like this uh, bag of fertilizer and I chose it. And so what we'll do is this is 15,000 uh, square feet per bag, um, roughly 5,000 square feet. So I should get about three applications. So I'll put down my first application uh, when I seed. I'll do a second application um, after two weeks, and then I will do uh, a third application of starter for uh, 30 days after that. So 45 days after initial seed. So uh, this will get me um, through mid-October um, in fertilizer right before we start getting it prepped uh, for the winter uh, at the end of October, beginning of November. All right, so the most important part, um, after you get your seed down and, and all your fertilizer and I'm putting biochar in and um, all, all this goodies for, for the grass, but if you don't water it, um, your grass is not gonna germinate. So you, what you gotta do is make sure the grass stays um, just moist, not soaking wet, but moist. So what you wanna do is probably water it if you can. Uh, if you have an irrigation system, it's best. Um, I currently have an irrigation system. If you haven't seen that video, um, I have a ratio system and I'll program it to four to five times a day. Uh, and I'll do a very light, you know, seven to 10 minute uh, watering uh, in my, all my different zones. And what's that going to do is it's going to keep that um, soil uh, and seed uh, nice and moist and hopefully germinate in about 14 to 21 days. That's my hope. Um, the reason that we're going to go ahead and overseed at the end of August, beginning of September. Kentucky bluegrass takes roughly uh, 21 to 30 days uh, to fully germinate. Um, I'm going to try to push that from uh, a little bit sooner by having uh, planted it in a little bit warmer soil. So warmer soil, um, going into cool nights, uh, really helps promote the growth of cool season lawns. So this is why everyone says um, overseeding in the fall is absolutely the best time uh, spring is real hard because you're also fighting weeds. Um, so when you're when you're overseeding, try to do it in the fall to prepare for the next year. So um, just some tips uh, and some things that I'm doing this year for my fall overseed project. Um, I will definitely be making videos as I overseed and so we can see the results. 
I'm really stoked to see what kind of results we'll get out of this bio chicken or bio charkin is what they call it. Um, but we may not see immediate results uh, from biochar. Biochar is something that you really start seeing results um, around year two. Um, so we'll keep adding that to our lawn and see where we get. But um, super stoked that Yard Mastery has something available uh, that I could put down. Also, um, biocharkin uh, was about $54, $55. Um, if you look at the, like the Humachar uh, DG uh, from Anderson's, uh, those are running around $85. Um, so definitely a value um, there. Um, and um, also, if you're looking for grass seed uh, right now, um, if, if you're planning on doing an overseed project, buy grass seed now, as soon as possible. Um, just like everything else during this pandemic, there is a shortage of premium grass seed. Um, you may have to use the store-bought stuff this year but because you can't get the premium stuff. <clears throat> but definitely start looking for grass seed um, you know that you can find some here and there uh, get on it early um, sooner the better because if you try to wait last minute you may not find it so uh, that's gonna wrap up this video um, thanks for watching please like and subscribe I'm Jason Whitaker the DIY dad and I'll catch you in the next one